this short video, I want to talk to you about hiding pages within Typo3 and the several sort of different ways in which we can approach this. So perhaps you want a page to be hidden from public view, but still essentially live on the internet. Uh, perhaps you want to have a page which is live if people know how to get to it, but perhaps isn't searchable by Google or within the insight search that comes with Typo3. So there's different ways in which we can do this, um, and that's what I'm gonna be covering in this video. So if we jump into the back end of Typo3, and for the sake of this video, I'm using the Liquid Light website as an example, you can see down here I have created a page called Test Page. Now currently, that page is disabled. It is not a live page. So this really is the first way in which you can hide a page within Typo3. That is not public. It's not available to anybody. Um, it's it's there and it exists. And this is a really good example of how we kind of develop pages. So perhaps you create a page. This is how we leave a page when we're in the process of populating the content and getting it ready to become live. Now at the moment, this page is completely empty. So that's not particularly relevant. Um, we're just talking about the fact that the page exists, but it is currently disabled. Now you can do that to any page by right clicking on the page name in the page tree and then simply choosing enable or disable. So because this page is disabled, it says enable. If I were to click on a different page, let's just go to say our about page, you can see the option is disable. So clicking that makes the page no longer live. Okay, so it says it's the same as deleting <laughs> as far as a search engine is concerned, but the page does exist within the back end of Typo3. So this is great for new pages when you want to populate them. So we've now got our page and it's currently disabled. If we edit the page properties of the page, then there's a few other ways that we can hide the page. Okay, so Within the page properties, under the options tab, you can see the first option there is hide in menu. Now this is a really helpful way to uh, make a page not as obviously live, but it's important to note that if you hide a page in menu, that page is still live, and whilst you might not be able to get to it from the navigation within the website when you're browsing, Google and other search engines will still find that page and will still index the content. So this might be a really good way uh, for something like landing pages where you don't necessarily want them to be available to people browsing your website, but if someone's searching for a very specific search term and you've created a landing page for it, then you can still have that as a live page. And to do that, you simply tick the box there. So that now will hide that page in menu. Okay. So next in the advanced tab, we've also got the ability under this search section to exclude this page from the website search. So this is the inbuilt search within your own website. And next to that, we've got exclude from external search. So this is, is the page being crawled basically by search engines. So if we tick that, then that will mean that this page, even if this page is live, it's not gonna be crawled. It won't appear in search results, okay? So a page can be, so now I can essentially enable this page that I've created for this demo, this test page, by clicking enable. So that now is a live page on the website. However, because of the settings I've used in options to uh, hide in menu, it's not going to appear in the menu of the site. And in the advanced tab, I can exclude from website search and exclude from Google search and save. So now that is a live page but it's only going to be visible if you know the link to get to it. So this is great if you are wanting to send a page to somebody specifically for their eyes, uh, but you don't want this page to be indexed by Google. You don't want it to come up in search results. 
and you don't want it to be uh, outputting any of the navigations on the site. Again, if the page truly needs to not be live, then you can just disable the page like so. And now that is no longer live. It's hidden from public view, but it still exists within the back end of the website. So these options can all be used interchangeably as well. So you may just want a page excluded from search, but you do want it in your navigation. I'm not sure of an example when that would be useful, but it but it is a possibility. Technically, it can be done. Um, or perhaps you would want to have the page enabled in the page tree um, and you would want it to be excluded from external search, but not from the website search. So any of these works with the other options. Um, but if you truly want a page to be hidden, then you can just disable it in the page tree. Okay, so that's just a few ways that you can hide a page within Typo3. I hope you found that useful. Check back in soon for future Typo3 tutorials. Thanks for watching.